Everyone is talking about virtual reality, and almost anything seems possible. But how can virtual reality be used in factory planning and what do you need for it? In the video, this question is answered and we use an example from the Free University of Bozen Balzano to show how easily it works in three steps, mobile and wireless. Why is there so much interest in virtual reality? Simply put, you have to experience it for yourself. There's a big difference between looking at a 3D world on a flat screen and being inside that world yourself in a 360 degrees view. The one-to-one -one scale spatial vision, the natural interactions with hands and looking around with head movement, and all in all the I am in the world feeling lead to a subjective, psychological response that doesn't happen that way on the flat screen. But how does virtual reality support us in factory planning? Two use cases are most common. The first use case is the error analysis, that is to say the search for collisions, the compliance with safety distances and the evaluation of workplaces with regard to sufficient movement space within your variance. The second use case is the communication of your planning solutions. In factory planning it is important to inform and convince many planning participants with sometimes very different professional backgrounds. The direct immersion into the planning solutions via virtual reality supports this exceptionally well. Collaboration in factory planning projects often takes place at different locations, which is why a mobile solution should be chosen. So what does such a mobile solution look like and what do you actually need for it? For virtual reality you need special hardware and software. The virtual reality hardware basically has to fulfill two functions. The first function is simply the display of your planning solution. The display must be stereoscopic so that the three-dimensional impression and thus the desired immersion is created. So-called head-mounted displays are best suited for this purpose. With head-mounted displays, the representation is projected directly in front of the eyes. The second function is an interaction option with the virtual world. This includes tracking your movements, for example, the movements of your head or hands. For mobile and flexible use, markerless inside-out tracking is best suited. Here, tracking is performed by sensors that are directly integrated into the VR hardware. There is no need for a complex installation of external sensors or markers. The tracking is supported by so-called controllers, so the interaction is more precise and flexible than with the hands only. In addition to the hardware, you need special software for virtual reality. The software must be able to read in exported models from your planning system or have an interface. Furthermore, the software must be compatible with your chosen VR hardware. In addition, the VR software must offer the range of functions you require. For the use cases mentioned in our example, functions like measuring, photographing for issue tracking and report generation, audio chat, fading in and out of objects, cuts, markups and so on are interesting. In modern head-mounted displays, the computing unit is already integrated. In this case, you can transfer your planning models to the head-mounted display and operate them autonomously. Especially for mobile use, however, it is advantageous to use a mobile computer so that you can quickly and flexibly upload new models to the head-mounted displays on site if necessary. So these are the things you need. The developments in the field of VR hardware and software are very dynamic. At the bottom of the video description you will find links with further information. We will update this information from time to time. That was a bit of theory. We will show you how easy it is to enter the VR world using the example of a case study from the Faculty of Science and Technology of the Free University of Bozen Balzano. In the case study, students plan a production facility for a furniture manufacturer. In addition to determining a location and dimensioning the necessary operating resources, the students have to plan the layout for the production facility. The layout is to be finally presented by means of a VR solution. We want to show you how easy this works. The starting point is the respective layout planning solution of the students. In the first step, 
The planning solution is exported as a 3D model from the planning system, in this case in OBJ format. The planning system used is Viz table. In the second step, the 3D model is simply transferred to the VR software using drag and drop and saved as a project. The VR software used by the students is Iris VR Prospect. In the third step, the project is transferred to the head-mounted display and a corresponding session is started. The head-mounted display used by the students is Oculus Quest. Here you get a few quick impressions of how students move through the VR world. With immersion in the respective planning solutions, students can develop a much better sense of space and spatial awareness of their layout options. The immersion is thus not only very impressive for the students, but also has an added value in terms of planning. Now you've seen how easy it is, so try it out for yourself.